His Excellency the President of Fiji, Major General Chochi Konusi Konrote, visited the Pacific Community SPC's Center for Pacific Crops and Trees in Narere, welcomed by SPC Director General Dr. Colin Tuki Tonga. The visit was a timely opportunity for President Konrote, who was accompanied by Fiji's roving ambassador and High Commissioner to the Pacific Islands, Litia Mawi, to witness firsthand how CPACT conserves and provides access to the region's valuable plant genetic diversity. Now, we are a Pacific community and food security is very important. As we speak, next week I'll be off to Rome to talk to uh, um, the World Farm, the FAO, about food security, more on climate change and how it's affecting the Pacific. And I'd like to uh, thank SPC for sort of sponsoring the, um, the trip. And uh, as the chief advocate and the champion of the fight against NCD, I'm very interested in what you do here. Because I've been trying to tell all the chiefs and the people of Fiji that we should grow our own. We should eat more mbele, row row, and forget about noodles and uh, uh, biscuits or whatever. I know. Um, so by the end of the day, we have a healthy community and economically, it's good for all of us. The center is the Pacific's only internationally recognized gene bank and houses over 2,000 accessions, including the largest collection of taro diversity in the world. Over the past 12 years, the center has distributed over 70,000 tissue culture-derived plantlets to 51 countries, including 22 Pacific Island countries and territories. I see it as having a great potential for being a center of excellence for Pacific crops and trees and making sure that there is a Pacific footprint and fingerprint out there in the global agenda for global food security. And that's important, particularly at this juncture of humanity, when people don't really see the Pacific as having that capacity for food production. Eh? The, the laboratories were excellent and in terms of the exposure of my knowledge and, and expanding my, my, my sphere of awareness that these things are happening here in Fiji uh, is exciting to me because of what it could mean for the smaller island countries in terms of pursuing their own food security uh, goals and aspirations. Conservation is CPAC's core business and the facility maintains over a dozen culturally and economically important food crops, including banana, breadfruit, cassava, sweet potato and yam. In 2014, the Center, with assistance from Australia, partnered with the Government of Fiji to establish the Ministry of Agriculture's Plant Tissue Culture Lab at the Cornivia Research Station by providing planting material for climate change adaptation and mitigation. It also supported the Fiji government's response and recovery efforts by supplying planting material to the Ministry of Agriculture in the immediate aftermath of Tropical Cyclone Winston, which devastated the country in early 2016. In addition to reacting to supporting countries after disasters, the centre contributes uh, on an ongoing basis different varieties of bananas to help the uh, people in Tuvalu, for example, broaden the variety of bananas that are there. They're working away at uh, uh, breadfruit, for example, to try and um, produce uh, uh, plantlets that uh, can go and grow uh, uh, and to make that available to the countries. One of the best examples we have where we're using science to contribute to knowledge and practice and the provision of uh, seedlings to communities. So it's uh, in a very real way, this is where science uh, contributes to the livelihoods and the uh, lives of people of the region and this is exactly the business of SPC. It's a fantastic uh, opportunity for SPC and CPAC, the Seed Bank in particular, to host uh, His Excellency the President of Fiji. Uh, he was clearly very impressed with the work that's uh, been done here, remarked on the fact that he's driven past here hundreds of times and he didn't know the good work that's being done. Formerly known as a regional geoplasm centre, CPACT was established in 2007 
with support from the Government of Australia through the Australian Agency for International Development, AUSAID, the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research and the European Union. Lauren Robinson, SBC News.